I'm sure a lot of you are now tasked in your companies by needing to create an infographic, <laughs> okay? Everybody's boss is saying, I need an infographic to display such and such, okay. So what we're going to do is to make a simple infographic where you can make an object around a circle and divide it evenly. Now, I know everything isn't perfectly even, but what I like to do is to make more divisions and then delete the ones that I don't want. Okay? So you could do 10% all the way around and then you know, add, add different things together. So we're going to make this little infographic by using even values. And I've made half of it here just in the interest of time. I literally have three circles. I have a blue filled, an orange filled, and then I have this one which just has another really thick stroke around the outside. Now, with this one with the thick stroke, before I outline it, I'm going to use a tool called the Path Eraser tool. And the Path Eraser tool, I'm just going to sloppily go along the outside and erase a portion of the path. Now is when I want to use my Path Outline Stroke. And this is going to be the chunk that I want to take out of that donut part of the circle. Now, in real life, it'd probably be a little bit smaller. I want to make it larger for you to see it. So now what I'll do is I'll select this little piece. I'll go back to my rotate command, and I'm going to option click or alt click right in the middle of that spot. And again, I'm going to type in 360 slash, am I going to do the right one? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> and three. I don't know why it is on this keyboard. 360 divided by 3, and I'm going to hit copy and do it again, Command D. Now I have three divisions of this little uh, infographic. And now I select everything, and I'm going to use my Shape Builder tool again. What do I not want? Everything in the middle. So I'm going to option click and drag all through these items, just touching them all, and option click. And really, I don't want any of this either. I could use minus front, but there you go. So you've got that infographic that has got three perfect sections. Now I'd like to color these three perfect sections with, with the colors. So I am going to use my swatches panel, pick one of these colors here, and remember how I've got the Shape Builder tool with that cursor swatch preview. Instead of reselecting and selecting this piece and going to pink and selecting this piece and going to orange, all I need to do is click on that to make it pink, arrow over, and click on that to make it orange. So I'm finding myself coloring my objects with my Shape Builder tool as well.